Welcome to Research Watch. Here you can catch the key idea of published research paper in less than 5 minutes. I hope it will help you to select the paper for your further reading, knowledge or research purposes. Viewers, today's paper is about small molecule based targeting of TTDA dimetrization to control TFIIH transcriptional activity represents a potential strategy for anti-cancer therapy. Ravens Vajni is the lead author. Viewers, the human transcription factor TFIIH is a large complex composed of 10 subunits that form an intricate network of protein protein interactions critical for regulating its transcriptional and DNA repair activities. The trichothiodystrophy group A protein TTDA or P8 is the smallest TFIIH subunit shutting between a free and a TFIIH bound state. Its diametrization properties allow it to shift from a homodiametric state in the absence of a functional partner to a heterodiametric structure enabling dy dynamic binding to TFIIH. Recruitment of P88 TFIIH stabilizes the overall architecture of the complex, whereas P8's absence reduces its cellular steady state concentration and consequently decreases basal transcription, highlighting that P8 dimetrization may be an attractive target for down regulating transcription in cancer cells. Here, using a combination of molecular dynamic simultaneous to study P8 conformational stability and a greater than 3000 member library of chemical fragments, the authors identify small molecule compounds that bind to the dimetrization interface of P8 and provoke its destabilization as assessed by biophysical studies. Using quantitative imaging of TFIIH in living mouse cells, they found that these molecules reduce the intracellular concentration of TFIIH and its transcriptional activity to levels similar to that observed in individuals with trichothiodystrophy owing to mutated TTDA. Their results provided a proof of concept of fragment based drug discovery demonstrating the unity of small molecules for targeting P8 diametrization, to mo modulate the transcriptional machinery and approach that may help inform further development in anti-cancer therapies. Viewers, this article was published in September 2018 in the Journal of Biological Chemistry. Viewers, I hope you found this video useful. I would really appreciate your feedback. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow the channel. Thank you.